Everybody know it's your boy Joe back again, coding phase man, the Netflix project man. This is just for you guys to you know learn a little bit of HTML CSS man. You already know it's your boy. Alright, so you know what? We're gonna start with the buttons, man. Buttons are super important because that's the call to action for people. You know, they see a button and then they would just wanna click it, you know. <laughs> Whatever you wanna get to the next page or you wanna start the app or you wanna start uh, a video you need a button because people are used to seeing a button and then they click it and then whatever they get to the next page or it starts pretty much all right so let's start with this thing okay so we named this thing button one right so this is gonna be the first one and let's name this one button two so button one and button two now let's go here to the CSS and work with it, right? So we want this thing to display next to each other. So the way to do that is basically by doing display inline block. All right. So I'm going to teach you. Okay. Now about padding, right? Padding on the button. So to give you that little box, like let's say, you're gonna have the text inside of it. You need a space around it. So you see, maybe you have like, I don't know, 15 pixels up and then 20 pixels to the right and left, right? So we're gonna do this. Uh, let's say 12 pixels and then 20 pixels right and left. 12 pixels top and bottom, 20 pixels right and left, right? Let's see, and then let's put a background. Background of, let's say, black. Zero, zero, zero is black, and FFF is white, just in case. All right. Now, let's do color white. See, now we got a button. Also, to make sure that people know that you got to click it, we have to change the cursor. The cursor is this little thing that's, you know, the pointer that's going around, you know. When you see this, you go like that, you know that you highlighting. When you come here and you go over things and you see the little hand, that means you want to click on it. And that's like a button or that's a link. So people are used to that. So for you to change this from being uh, something that you could highlight, you pretty much change the cursor, right? You come here and you say cursor pointer and pretty much say now, now people know it's a button. You know what I mean? Now they know, okay, if I click here, it's going to take me somewhere. Right now, we don't have it as a link for the moment but we will do that in a little bit. Now let's say for button two, let's just copy this. Button two, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna remove the background, but we're going to put a border. And we're gonna say border two pixels solid and then black oops border two button two there you go now you see sizes are not the same so what we want to do we're gonna say okay let's bring this down you could do that bring it down like that and they'll both be the same size so, you, you know, the two pixels that you added, you just subtract it. And you say, okay. Pretty much. Now, they both even. You know what I mean? Now, let's make a margin, you know, to give some space between this thing. So, let's put a matter of fact on the paragraph. Let's say... Margin zero top 
zero right, but 50 pixels on bottom and zero to the left. Now we have that. You see the difference? Now the page is actually getting, you know, it's getting somewhere. It's starting to look a little like something, man. You know what I mean? Creating buttons, you know, fixing it up. You know what I mean? It's starting to look like something, you know what I mean? All right? So anyways, that's how you create a button, man. All right, I'm gonna see you around. Make sure you subscribe and stop playing, man. Subscribe, trust me, this thing's gonna look amazing. Trust me. Bow.